Hey friends, I have this book for us to read together and enjoy today. It is called The Best Part of Me. Children talk about their bodies in pictures and words. And like it says on your checklist or in Canvas, um, after we read this, I want you guys to think about the best part of you and take a picture, kind of like these kiddos do in this book, and then write just a little bit about it, kind of like they do. And we'll see some examples here as we read it. The Best Part of Me. And this was written by third, fourth, and fifth graders. My eyes are brown and black, big and round. I see lots of colors around. I see me, I see you. I like my eyes and I should not be surprised. I see your eyes, I see my eyes. I know my eyes can see within me. Without eyes, you couldn't see, not one tree you couldn't see, not one eye you couldn't buy. The eye is good and the eye is mad when you are mad. It can seem very sad. I like my feet because I painted the toenails and because I cut them not too short and not too long. Mosquitoes like my legs, blood. I take after my dad because they like his blood. I have long legs. I pick to put my feet on leaves because I like to play and I couldn't run and play without them. So the, there's leaves in this picture. My hair. I like my hair because it, it's long, black, and wavy. If you look real close, you can see red streaks. It comes from my Mexican heritage. It's wavy like the ocean. I need my arms to pick up my little brothers and throw them on the bed. But when they get up and they try to kick me in my head when I'm sleeping in the bed. But they can't as long as I have my arms over my head. Sometimes I can move my teeth. Sometimes my grandma can move her teeth too. Did you know baby teeth are smoother than permanent teeth? I can bite and eat with my teeth. I have sharp teeth. So does a shark and my cousin Laura. My hands. I like my hands because they turn the pages of a book slowly and magically. Reading makes me happy. They wipe my eyes when I am sad. They threaten the things that make me mad. They pull the covers over my head when I am scared. They fill my forehead when I am sick. They write what I am writing now. They touch the precious earth and ground. They dance, they act. They're slender and unique. They're mine, that's all, slender and unique. My hands. Oh, my hands. My old wrinkled hands. Can't you see the triangles in both of them? In the picture, I have on two real rings, one plastic ring and one fake Tweety Bird ring. I have no rings on my thumb. My hands are big. I say strong. I lift some things that are heavy. Maybe that's why they're big and ugly. The reason why my nails aren't long is because I bite them off. I write with my right hand, but if write with my left, it looks sloppy. See the reason why I choose my hands is because I like them even if they're big and ugly my elbow. My elbow is like a little circle. I'm using my elbow when I'm mad. I put my hand on my waist and my elbow sticks out. My elbows are on a table when I'm writing or reading. I like my elbows because I play with my elbows when I jump rope. Chest. Chest. You're the best. I like to rest on you. Oh yes. I wake up. I depend on you to protect my body too. Chest, chest, you're the best. You're a big success. You might be the best in the West. Chest, chest, you're the best. The knee poem. A scar, the scar is a circle. Some designs like lines and stripes, long legs, summertime, taken in the summertime. Background is the grass, hard legs. Legs are hard. My sweater is under my legs. I can jump good with these knees. These knees are Hispanic. The reason I took a picture of my face is because my mom says that I look like her. 
because my mom thinks that I have nice eyes. Sometimes I like to squint my eyes when I am in the sun. My eyes are bright blue as my mom's are blue too. My hair is the same as my mom's, dad's, and my brother's. My back. I picked my back because if I didn't have my back, then I couldn't move because everything counts on my back. And I put hair in the picture because I like my hair. I can put barrettes in my hair and I can braid it. My mom braids my hair a lot. She says I am her little Barbie. My hair is longer than my short sleeve shirt. My wonderful legs. Legs, legs, you carry me a long way. You hold me up when I'm out to play. Legs, legs, you're so strong so that I'm able to run very long. You get very tired when I rollerblade, but you still go on. That's how strong you are made. You don't get hurt very easily. I just hate when people call you measly. My neck. I love my neck. My neck holds the beautiful necklaces that I wear. I love my neck because it is not too big or not too small. It is just right for me. I love my neck for all the things it can do. It connects to my lovely face and to my strong body. It holds my head. I like my neck. That is why it is the best part of me. All mine. When I pray, my hands overlap. In the sun, they shine. The color of my hands is toasty brown. These beautiful things are mine. So we have seen some poems or just some sentences that these students have written about the best part of them. So I really want you to think about what you want to take a picture of. And then you can either write your favorite things about what you've chosen or you can type it and send it to me. But either way, I want you to send me your picture and your writing so that I can put a book together for our class, just like this class did.